Hello everyone. Now this video will show you how to use the flash heating power supply adapter to image the pensioned SSD. Now we can see uh, this is the DFL DDP data recovery software and this is the SSD model number, SR number and also the capacity. Now we can see from the very beginning, before we use the power adapter for heating, okay, this is the, we can see, this is the DF all-in-one data recovery adapter. And we are now collecting one uh, M2 SSD. Uh, this is M2 NVMe SSD we have connected to the all-in-one uh, adapter and then we are using this heater to heat the SSD now let's see uh, this is my DFSRP data recovery hardware and this one is the uh, voltage adjuster now we can see here this is one knob knob control we can adjust the voltage from 19 to 24 now we can adjust it to bigger voltage okay 21 uh, this is the lump of working uh, voltage we can see here, this is to control the working temperature uh, for this SSD. Now we are heating this SSD. Uh, before the heating, the image is very slow. Now, after we heat this SSD, we come to the DFL DDP, the recovery software, we can see this is the current disk imaging speed for this SSD. Now uh, it increased a lot. It's about 20 megabytes per second has been added, increased. We can see this one. So sometimes when you are trying to image the SSD and if you find it very slow running or sometimes you cannot even start the disk image task, you can then try to use this method. We can hit the SSD, use this power controller Okay, here we can adjust the voltage and the working temperature easily. You know, after the image running for some time, we can adjust it to be lower voltage. Okay, a little lower. Then we keep this image running. Okay, thank you for watching the video.